Hello. Episode 4 of my Resident Evil 4 playthrough. Now, let's get started again. Hopefully, nothing messes up and I only have to record this once. So, back to live commentary. If you haven't seen what happened uh, to my... Or, if you haven't heard about my problems, watch the last episode and you'll hear my small rant about it at the beginning. But we're back. And previously we left off with Leon passed out. And now we can see that his symptoms are getting worse. So for this part, um let's see, last part we actually fought the first boss battle. And in this part we're actually gonna fight the second boss battle. If I remember correctly. Pretty sure we are. Well, it's, it's Hunnigan again, doing her hourly checkup. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy and then It would have been better if it was like a screen that said six missed calls from Hunnigan. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Bye bye, Hunnigan. Alright, so Let's go pick up the stuff in the house. Let me check my inventory again. Flash grenade. Okay. Let's see, anonymous letter. Do do do. I wonder who sent that. I would say it would be Ada, but I think Ada used the leaves a note with her name on it or something. If I remember, I don't remember. Anyways. We're gonna go to the merchant. Um, it's gonna be across the lake here, where those blue fire are lit on the other side. So before we do that, I'm gonna pick up the next um, free pistol we're supposed to get. Before that happens, I'm gonna try to waste some bullets though. Try to get the big guy. Come on. Might be hard to see on the video, but I am aiming at it. I just need them to get closer though. Oh, he is getting closer. No, he went away. Come on. Don't want to waste time. One. No, missed. No, missed again. Alright, I got it. So now I got two more bullets. Let's see if I can make a count. Come on, fishy. Oh, they all disappeared. I saw them here earlier. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's kind of far away, though. Let's try going on the dock and see if we can get closer. Here we go. I'm going to take two bullets, though. Come on. Stop moving. Wow, he went under me. Oh, okay, I missed. Whatever, we got one. One is good enough for now. Now all we have to do is go here. Actually, did I get him in an area where I can't even... Okay, I don't know what's happening, but I might be stuck under the bridge. No, it disappeared. Oh my god, you st stupid bridge. Now I'm debating if I should just restart. Nah, whatever. Just one fish. Only worth like, I think it was like two, some two point something k, maybe three k. Whatever. I was probably gonna use it to heal, but oh well. Good time waster, though. Now there's a bunch of crates here. Well, there's also treasure here, and. Or to get it, you had to go up and around, which I would do here. Gotta do some crate pushing, some manual labor. And if I remember correctly, the treasure will be for one of those pieces where we had to combine with um, another one. 
And it's actually in one of these barrels. It's gonna be, yep, that one, green gem. That's gonna go with the mask, I think. Let's check. Combine, yeah, with the mask. So two more for the mask and one more for the beer stain thing. I'm like, supposed to be able to jump down here. There we go. And I could take some of his stuff. And I think I'm going to skip talking to him, the merchant, because we're going to go to another one later. So I basically came here just to steal some of his stuff and then leave. He has a crappy security system. So I'm going to actually heal up and use the green one. I wish I had like a green and yellow herb, but oh well. So now that would... Oh! Sorry, I'm stupid. We were supposed to talk to him. Um, Ignore that. Make my 10 point turn. So you forgot to remind me. Shame on you guys. You're supposed to remind me to pick up the free handgun. Oh well, I can make the trip back. Oh, it's only adding like 2-3 minutes to this uh, video. So, I guess we will be talking to him. Alright, so we're going to sell the handgun. And then buy the Punisher, which is the free gun that he gives us. And I'm going to do some organization. Oh yeah, I forgot. Rifle ammo is only maxed out at 10. So now we have the Punisher. And then we can leave. Now let's pretend the whole scene of me going back to the dock and back around never happened. Just blank out the last two minutes of the video. Alright, so let's continue onwards. Remembering to equip the pistol. And then, let's check the map really quick to check for treasure. Alright, so there's one more treasure in the next area, which is going to be by the waterfall actually. And this area is actually where we're going to meet a new type of monster. Which is going to make our life a little bit more... going to make our life more a little more difficult. These stupid things. Here I'm actually going to waste a flash grenade. If you didn't know, a flash grenade instantly kills those things. The reason I wasted a flash grenade is because I was going to run through this area. But I'm most likely going to get hit by that, that face thing. Oh my god, there's another one. Well, life just got more difficult. Debating about whether I want to use another flash grenade. I don't think this second guy ever had um, his head pop that before. I'm gonna run run past him this time. Should have done it on the first shot, but I like wasting ammo. You should know that. You, if you've seen my other videos, you could see how much ammo I've been wasting. Anyways, once we get to this area, he won't follow us. Unless he somehow knows how to climb down a cliff. Uh, but here there's another treasure. It's actually up here. So don't forget that. Another one of those spinos. And then there's a guy up here throwing stuff. Well, that was kind of BS. Well, that was another unnecessary damage. But luckily we're not in the red so it should be fine I think so here gotta shoot these things make sure the boxes come over and then we're gonna go and collect the treasure right now you can see it blinking up there begging to be shot an amber ring so that's probably gonna be 10k to sell 
So we're gonna shoot that thing, and then go up and shoot another one. And then we can con continue. A green herb, that's good. So we just need a yellow herb, and then we can heal up. Alright, come down here. So the reason we need to shoot these boxes is because we need to get to the other side to turn off the water, or change the direction of the water so we can get through. But then once we come back here, there's gonna be a bunch of villagers, so I'm gonna probably use a grenade. Alright, let's go up here. And then operate, pull the lever, and get rid of the waterfall. Or get rid of the water blocking our way. Diverting. Yeah, so it does shut down the waterfall. And there's also going to be a huge mob of friendly villagers coming to thank us for changing the water direction. Before that, baiting what I want to use. You know what? Let's try some shots with the pistol. Because this one's. So I forgot if this was this one has penetration or not. Guess not. All right, so we're gonna use a grenade. All right, get out of the way. Well, more un unnecessary damage, but that's okay. So. Debating whether I should heal or not. Uh, let's just continue forward and see if we get another herb. Oh, I hear footsteps behind me, so let's get moving. Take the round insignia, let it open, and then run forward. Oh. Listen to Hunt again while some villagers are surrounding us. Oh yeah, so Ashley. Yeah, we're gonna see her, and then the. I think the episode's gonna end, and then we'll see. Um, we'll see her once the episode ends, and then in the next video we can go through all that fun Ashley stuff. Got cut this, cut this. Reload my gun, and then we continue onwards. Continue onwards to back to the merchant area. Where I was in the last episode, yeah. The one I mentioned in the last episode. I'm gonna see this guy. I think we, uh, oh yeah, so actually we're gonna fight the boss now. And there's a good chance for me to buy the rocket launcher. Because like I said, I don't really want to deal with the bosses, so... And I'll sell some of the treasure. So all this. So antique pipe. Gold bangle pearls and the amber ring we just picked up. So these two are still not done yet, so I'm not gonna touch them. And then we're gonna continue onwards to the boss. Making sure to equip this. Now I I I think I can kill this boss um, without using a rocket launcher, but still gonna take some time and I wanna save time, so I'm just gonna use a rocket launcher to get him. The basic strategy though is to shoot him enough so that he kind of kneels down, and then like the parasite things you saw earlier when the villager's head pop, it'll pop up behind the boss's back. And then you're supposed to do damage to that enough so they'll kill him. Him or it. I'm not sure if this monster has gender or not. But if you haven't seen this boss before, you're about to. The giant, um. El. I forgot what was the official name. El Gigante or something like that. 
As you can tell, he's not very friendly, very angry. Probably from being cooped up for so long. He just needs some air and I'm gonna put a rocket launcher into his well I'm not probably not his face, but his stomach. Well, I guess his face. No, I died. Never mind. He punched me before I could kill him. But that's okay. Since we're right here anyways. Just gonna add another another death to our death counter. Luckily he's not there we go. Oh yeah, so if you watched the first video of this playthrough, um, we freed a dog and, and the dog actually comes to help us in this fight. But since we killed him, we're not going to be able to see the dog, unfortunately. But if you do want to see the dog, you can go back to the first first video and go look at him there. So we got 15k for that. So that kind of made up for the cost of the rocket launcher. Cut it in half. So it's only a 15k um, rocket launcher. And we get a yellow herb so we can use that. Um, actually, I can com let's combine all three of these and then use it. And we're going to go pick up all the loot in the houses because they got restocked since last time. TMP ammo, gonna pick that up to sell. More herbs. Herbs are always good. Pick up that. Pick up that. Wow, stocking up on handgun ammo though. And then we're gonna go. Get more shotgun ammo. Oh yeah, so that reminds me. I'm finally gonna reload this shotgun. Cause I just remembered what enemy we're about to fight soon which are the wolf the wolf the zombie wolf infected wolf I guess infected but I don't want to deal with them I might blast them and then with the shotgun and then use a incendiary grenade though since I have so much it'd just be easier to do that so this is this is also going to be that um, new enemy type, new appearance of them. So then come up and say hello. And then going to pit him with bullets. And then take out my incendiary and then throw it. And then watch them burn. Then collect their stuff. So I think that's it, right? Yeah, once we go through this part, the episode's gonna end. So this is a relatively short one. We do that, and then we can go inside. I'm gonna pick up some loot. Don't remember the stuff here. Oh, there's a barrel. Pick up a flash grenade. And then continue upwards. Upwards to save Ashley. I don't know. It kind of reminds me. We're going to see her in her special costume. Alright. Come over here. Get these barrels. Hopefully something good. Cinderella. That I made up for the one I used earlier. So before I do this puzzle. Let me organize a little bit. Uh, put this here, put that there, put that there. Alright. So this one, you just have to line them up so when they combine, it'll be like what it looks like on the thing in the middle. Uh, it's easy enough to solve yourself. Turn and then back, and then that should be it. Yep. So that unlocks the gates. And then we're going to go save the president's daughter. So we're going to hear a lot of Leon screaming from Ashley though. Oh, so for the cutscenes, like Leon, she'll be in her regular Ashley. outfit. Hey. 
Take it easy. No. So that's what she looks like in her regular outfit. Uh, you'll see her special costumes though, which well, I forgot what it does. I know you. She can be picked up. That's right. Or maybe she can be picked. I'm pretty sure she can be picked up, and I think she is um, invincible, and she doesn't take damage. You'll see why though. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over. Her name's Ashley, Leon. Jeez. There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. All right. So here's a playing manner. All. Basically, the only controls it asks you is to wait or follow. You can also increase her life, but yeah. So here's her. <laughs> yeah, here's her special costume. Sensitive to what you're aiming at. So she can't really get damaged because she's in a suit of armory. So that's the reason I picked the special costume, just so I don't have to worry more worry that much about Ashley. She can handle herself. I'm gonna pick up all the loot. She should have picked this all up earlier so I wouldn't have to do it. Alright, so we're going to go down, and then we're going to see a cutscene, and then the chapter is going to end. The only annoying thing is I still have to catch her. It shows how Leon, how strong he is. Like, he caught her in a suit of armor, and didn't even, didn't even need to catch her breath. So we see Sadler again, and if you remember, he's the main baddie. To the whole world, our astounding power, of course. No oh, sadler. The United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnapped the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her. Back. It'd be funnier if they actually showed the special costumes in the cutscenes. So, here is Ashley getting the vaccine. What did you do to her? We just Too bad Ashley wasn't wearing her suit of armor. Pretty sure a needle won't go through that. One hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donations. Believe it or not. Yeah, so they're gonna use Ashley for money. I guess ransom. This church up and running. Faith and, money. and that's a symbol we'll be seeing a lot of. The, oh, I, I guess, I cult's official logo. Some brand management for them. They're oh, plastering that logo everywhere. Small, but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. So In what Sally is saying is um, what Leon and Ashley has been affected with. Some parasites, and once they hatch, he can control them do some scientific method or something. Oh, terrible aiming. You okay? Leon, what's going to happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. And I think so we're gonna get the chapter screen. Yep, end of chapter two one. Oh, so we're at chapter two now. So now with that we're onwards to chapter two. The next part will be chapter two two. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.